Have you ever wondered how long cocaine stays in your system? It's a question that has puzzled many, and today we're going to unravel the answers. We'll delve into understanding how our bodies metabolize cocaine, shedding light on science that might seem complex, but is fascinating nonetheless. If you're intrigued by what you're about to learn, do hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We've got more enlightening content lined up for you. So, ready to embark on this journey of understanding? Let's dive right in to understand this process better. Before we delve into how long cocaine stays in your system, it's important to understand what cocaine is. Cocaine, also known as coke or blow, is a potent stimulant derived from the leaves of the South American coca plant. It's most commonly used recreationally for its euphoric and energizing effects. However, it's not all fun and games. Cocaine use comes with a significant risk. It can lead to severe health issues like heart disease and stroke, and let's not forget its highly addictive nature. It's a substance that hooks you in, changing the way your brain functions, making it incredibly difficult to quit. The dangers of cocaine use are real and serious, affecting not only individuals but also communities and society at large. Now that we have a basic understanding of what cocaine is, let's move on to how it's metabolized in the body. Cocaine, once ingested, goes through a complex process inside your body. This process is what we call metabolism. And it's a bit like a journey, so let's buckle up and take a look at the trip that cocaine takes once it enters your body. First off, cocaine is quickly absorbed into your bloodstream, whether it's snorted, smoked, or injected. It's a very sociable drug, you see. It loves to mix and mingle with your blood cells. Once it's in your bloodstream, it starts its whirlwind tour of your body, reaching your brain in just a matter of minutes. Once it arrives in your brain, cocaine causes a surge of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This is what creates the euphoric high associated with the drug, but the party doesn't last forever. After the high comes the crash, as the brain quickly runs out of dopamine. But let's get back to our journey. After the brain, cocaine's next stop is the liver. This is where the real work begins. The liver, like a diligent factory worker, breaks down the cocaine into different metabolites, primarily benzoylecanine. Now, the liver has done its job, but the journey isn't over yet. These metabolites, including benzoylecanine, are then carried off to the kidneys. The kidneys, acting like dutiful waste managers, filter these metabolites out of the blood. They are then excreted from the body through urine. But here's the thing. While cocaine itself might leave your system in a matter of hours, its metabolites, particularly benzoylecanine, can hang around for much longer. The duration of their stay is influenced by several factors, including the amount of cocaine used, the frequency of use, the user's metabolism rate, and even their state of hydration. So, how long does cocaine actually stay in your system? Let's find out. The length of time cocaine stays in your system depends on several factors. It's not as simple as ticking off the hours on a clock. Various elements come into play including the quantity consumed, how often it's used, and even your own unique metabolic rate. Your overall health can also impact how your body processes cocaine, so there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. Typically, cocaine can be detected in urine for two to three days after use. But here's a surprising fact. Cocaine can linger in your hair follicles for months, even if you've stopped using. That's right, months. So, as we delve into the details, it's clear that the presence of cocaine in your system is influenced by a multitude of factors, many of them personal to each individual. But let's not forget the most important point, one that renders all these factors null and void. Remember, the only sure way to have cocaine completely out of your system is not to use it at all. Understanding how cocaine is processed in the body can be a wake-up call for some. We've explored cocaine's nature, its metabolic process, and the duration it stays in our system. It's crucial to realize the long-lasting effects it can have on our bodies. If you or someone you know is grappling with addiction, Virtue Recovery Center is here with supportive services to help. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video to help spread awareness about the dangers of cocaine use.